When the Lord our God brings you into the land, he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you a land with, la with large flourishing cities you did not build, houses filled with all kinds of good things you did not provide, wells you did not dig, and ven vineyards and olive groves you did not plant. Then when you eat and are satisfied, be careful that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Fear the Lord your God, serve him only, and take your oath in his name. Do not follow other gods, the gods of the peoples around you, for the Lord your God, who is among you, is a jealous God, and his anger will burn against you, and he will destroy you from the face of the land. Do not test the Lord your God as you did at Massa. Be sure to keep the commands of the Lord your God and the stipulations and decrees he has given you. Do what is right and good in the Lord's sight, so that it may go well with you, and you may go in and take over the good land that the Lord promised on oath to your forefathers, thrusting out all your enemies before you, as the Lord said. In the future, when your son asks you, what is the meaning of the stipulations, decrees, and laws the Lord our God has commanded you? Tell him, we were slaves of Pharaoh in Egypt, but the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Before our eyes, the Lord sent miraculous signs and wonders, great and terrible upon Egypt and Pharaoh and his whole household. But he brought us out from there to bring us in and give us the land that he promised on oath to our forefathers. The Lord commanded us to obey all these decrees and to fear the Lord our God so that we might always prosper and be kept alive, as is the case today. And if we are careful to obey all this law before the Lord our God, as he has commanded us, that will be our righteousness. So remember that the Israelite community um, was still wandering in the wilderness, but they were being provided for. So unfortunately, the reason why they were wandering in the wilderness is due to the fact that they rebelled against the Lord, not just once, but multiple times. And so it came to a point where there was a time, and this was gone over in previous Bible study, that 12 people were selected to go into the promised land to see how it is and take survey. They came back and two of them reported that the land was good and that they were the community was ready to go and that was Caleb and Joshua. However, there were the other 10 reported back that they weren't it was a good land but they weren't strong enough. They weren't strong enough even though the Lord was with them in a presence, in a present form, in a glorified form. And so the people went as far as wanting to even go back to Egypt. They kept bringing up Egypt. They kept bringing up the old times. And I think that some sometimes we as humans, we do that too. Um, and so they um, even went as far as wanting to stone Moses and Aaron. And so the Lord had basically said, okay, well, then this generation that keeps rebelling, rebelling is going to end up dying in the wilderness. And their children, though, would continue on with the promise. And so um, that's where we're at with this. And so that this new generation that has been brought up, and since the older generation has finally died off, that they will remember um, that all the miracles and signs and everything that was done. And they were still getting manna. <clears throat> the Lord was still with the community in, in uh, a cloud form, cloud by day, fire by night, um, residing over the ta tabernacle. They were still receiving this bread from heaven, which was the manna. And so these were a lot of things to remember and a lot of things to think about too. Um, what kind of ideas or things come to mind when you read this? Like I mentioned before, one thing that comes to mind is 
the mentioning of these um, this recent history and some of the uh, previous history of course um, leaving Egypt and, and all of this because people we as a people we have short memories and and or we just start going back to or thinking that things were better in the past and they weren't <laughs> you know <laughs> you had to have had a past to live in the present and so just think about that too you know even if you feel like the past was good at one point or better than where you're at currently you had to have had that past in order to be at your present okay so you're still alive or you're still you know whatever the case may be and things could be better things could change for the better you we don't know because we don't know the future um one thing to do is rely on the lord and, and humble ourselves in prayer how does it make you feel and what does it make you think